Yeah. Vivek Kamam. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister has said that every time he introduced a reform, he wished he had gone further. So why is it that on the biggest reform of this Parliament, education, he's going backwards? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised he says that. A couple of weeks ago, he asked me whether I would undertake categorically that schools would have the freedoms for schools to own their own buildings, employ their own staff and develop their own culture. They will have those powers and they will be in the education bill. And I thought on selection he now agreed with me that we don't want re to return to selection. I love it. One minute we have big concessions to win over backbenchers, the next minute we've got no changes at all. Instead of flip-flopping, why can't he get out and sell the reforms? Into the opposition. Whatever happened? Whatever happened to leading his party, not following it? Whatever happened to no reverse gear? Whatever happened to the historic turning point? If he keeps turning, it's not going to be very historic. <laughs> now, given that he's got support on this side of the house, will he make clear no more concessions? I see he's raised the issue of flip-flopping. <laughs> I have with me a leaflet that has just been put out in the Dunfermline West Fife by-election. From one David Cameron, a letter. It says this, I'm a Liberal Conservative. <laughs> issues that once divided Conservatives from Liberal Democrats are now issues where we both agree, like Iraq. <laughs> man that two weeks ago told the Daily Telegraph, I am and always have been a conservative to the core of my being. <laughs> then one week ago, he's the heir to new Labour. And today he's a liberal conservative. No wonder he's against identity cards. David Cameron. I love getting a lecture, a lecture in consistency from a Prime Minister who spent all week in reverse gear. Perhaps he could have a word with the Chancellor who's just endorsed a book that says Iraq was an unjust war. Isn't it time the Prime Minister faced down the rebels and did the right thing for teachers, for parents and for pupils? Why is he trying to appease those who don't want reform when he could be working with those who want it? It's not about me facing down, I think it's about time he faced the same way for more than a day at the time. The fact of the matter is, we will have those freedoms for schools, but yes, we will ensure they cannot go back to academic selection. That's the position I thought we both agreed upon, and I hope he will now also, as well as reversing the following Conservative policies, the patient's passport, the foundation hospitals, the asylum quotas, section 28, the licensing laws, does he remember that? Uh, opposition to anti-social behaviour. I hope in respect of all of those and more, he will reverse the Conservative position, but in particular, he will tell us now how much he regrets voting against the extra investment for schools and hospitals. And once he's completed those U-turns, we'll know where he stands, but he won't stand with any credibility anywhere. Yeah.